Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Uh, today I'm especially, I ran out here to do this because we, this was supposed to be a buddy read with me and a bunch of my friends and I wanted to get this out uh, just so maybe if uh, <laughs> if you've already bought the book, the ebook, you can return it. Um, but definitely read it for yourself. Open it up and see if you see the same things um, I do. But today we're talking about Hyde by Kirsten White. This book is supposedly uh, White's adult fiction debut. The very first problem I have with it is it is a YA style novel with adult characters. Um, and what I mean by that, and YA is not inherently bad, don't get me wrong, don't come for me guns blazing for that one, because I have enjoyed plenty of YA. Andrew Smith's books, uh, Welcome to the Dark House, which I I would recommend you check out instead of this one. Uh, Clown in the Cornfield, I enjoyed also. There are so many great YA books. The YA books that I cannot stand are books like this, that are written in a dumbed down way, as if teenagers do not care for anything other than forward plot momentum. Uh, the number one problem I have with this, and I, I quit it not, not too far after I hit this point, there are 14 characters in this book, and they are all introduced in three pages. Three pages. Um, you have your requisite YouTuber, your Instagrammer, your app developer, your insecure boy, insecure girl, lonely girl, lonely boy, uh, girl with haunted past, all of that stuff. All of the stereotypes that you will find in bad YA are in this book. Um, now, there's nothing wrong, of course, with being a YouTuber, Instagrammer, any of those things. But when that's the depth of character development that you get and you are supposed to care about these people long enough to you know see what happens to them when the author didn't even care enough to give them enough space to breathe before she introduced you know everyone in the book all at once um, I much would have preferred that maybe each character got a short chapter from themselves before we got started whatever anything other than what happened here because this read like a D&D &D character sheet a list of attributes a list of things they do well badly all that stuff it was so so poorly written um i the i'm i'm really upset here i spent full price for this book $27 at books a million because i got suckered in by the cover and then when you open it up, it has amazing end papers. It's a whole map of the amusement park. I guess it's called the Amazement Park, uh, which made me roll my eyes anyways. But I mean, the, 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 what the park's called is like the least of the problems with this book. And yes, I did not finish it. Um, I will defend that stance by saying this. If I go to a restaurant and I order a, if I, I order a meal, I get the meal, and the meal tastes bad. That's the equivalent of the writing here. If the meal tastes bad, I'm either going to send it back, or I'm going to say, never mind, I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, unfortunately, I've already bought and paid for this book, um, and the writing, for me, is absolutely terrible. Uh, very choppy, uh, <laughs> some, some very odd word choices. Um, some similes and metaphors that just made me roll my eyes. It's the writing here. And, of course, all the rest of the stuff that I mentioned. Um, another thing was, is I went over to uh, Rachel's review from uh, Shades of Orange here on YouTube. I went and read their written review um, once I had gotten to page 30 or so. And there's so many red flags just popping off. Um, everywhere. So many thanks to Rachel. I wish I had read your review before I went out and bought the book at full price. <clears throat> but anyways, I got suckered in with the uh, one of my favorite subgenres in horror is amusement parks, carnivals, circuses, all that theme parks, that kind of thing. Just my favorite subgenre. Period. 
um, like Geek Love it has some you know horror elements or whatnot. Or um, a good one's Fantastic Land is another one that I really enjoyed. Although I did give it three stars for a, a couple different reasons. But there are so many other. It, Welcome to the Dark House is this exact gimmick done so much better. I'm sorry, but the author's name slips in my mind. Um, but if you're looking for something like this, and you want a book that cashes the checks, that the description no, that cashes the check that the description signs, however you want to put it. If you want something like that, go check out Welcome to the Dark House. If you're looking for uh, brutal YA horror uh, because you think that uh, YA is is timid, um, I definitely suggest uh, Welcome to the Dark House and Clowns in the cor Cornfield. Clown in a Cornfield. Um, any, any one of those books. Uh, if you want more uh, suggestions and recommendations, let me know down in the doobly-doo. But this... This ain't it. I'm sorry. Uh, very upset, very disappointed, um, and I won't be reading any more of the author's work, whether it's YA, adult, whatever. I just do not like their writing. Um, but that's it. If you've read Hyde, um, especially if you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear from you down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a DNF book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.